Hey guys, how are you? And welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a review foundation. So this is gonna be a foundation Friday and it's gonna be with the Natasha Denona Transform Matte 30W shade. And I wanted to try this foundation. So when I went to the US, I asked for a sample and I didn't get to it right away. So I'm filming it today. I didn't show you the entire look, just me applying the foundation and I will be doing just one check-in. So I'll be wearing it and when I'm ready to remove my makeup, I'll sit here and tell you how it went. And I just finished all my face and it's 220. So yeah, if you want to see my review and thoughts on the Natasha Denona Transfer Matte Foundation, then just keep on watching. I'm a little bit tan, so I thought to do this review since I've been wanting to try this since I went to the US. So they gave me this shade when I was there, but I realized it was too dark, like all of the foundations that I own. And today's the perfect day to try it because I have a few pimples on my chin. This foundation comes in 35 shades and it's a $45 foundation. It comes in a little tube like the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation and it's called the Transfer Matte Pore Banishing Matte Foundation. Also, this foundation has three and a quarter stars in Sephora with 77 reviews, so it doesn't have the best reviews. And it says that the coverage is full the skin type that needs to use it is combination to oily, which is perfect because I get oily on my T-zone, but on the rest of my face, I'm normal. The finish is matte, and it says that it is a medium to full coverage, modern matte that blurs pores and rejuvenates the skin, a smooth texture while protecting skin from environmental damages. What it does, transfer matte pore banishing matte foundation, transforms the appearance of uneven skin textures, creating flawless, smooth looking skin thanks to its star botanic extract ingredient, pore reductile. It doesn't have any parabens. It says this foundation includes skin-loving botanical extracts that works to optimize hydration and chase shine away for photoflawless skin. Anti-aging peptides and powerful antioxidants shield your skin from environmental damages and protect skin against the early signs of aging. This unique flexible formula provides all this with a cushiony, soft, and comfortable coverage while also being oil-free. This formula is also vegan, and the Y stands for yellow undertone, the R for red undertone, the W for warm undertone, and the N for neutral undertone. And again, it comes in 35 shades. Well, you already saw me applying this foundation with a sponge. I set it with my favorite powder, which is the translucent powder from Laura Mercier, and this is a powder that I know how it works on my skin, so I know I cannot blame it for the performance of the foundation. I know that the foundation has to just stand up for itself. Okay, so, so far so good. You can see the side with the foundation looks beautiful, but it still looks natural, and then the other side looks not that good. I was picking on my nose today, cleaning it a little bit, and then I'm a little bit tan and I have a few spots on my face. So you can see that here, the finish is really nice. I'm actually liking it. Let's see how it performs throughout the day. So I'm gonna just do the other side of my face. And I'm always gonna show you how I do it with a sponge because a sponge is my preferred way to use my foundation. So even if it will look beautiful with a brush, I'm not gonna switch it up. I'm gonna use a sponge for every single foundation that I use. It's the easier way to do it for me. And I just don't wanna change it. And the other way that I do it is with my hand. So maybe let's do it with my hand. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This is not a foundation to rub on your face. Not at all. At least not if your face is dry. My face right now, it's a little bit tan, like I said. So it's feeling a little bit drier because of the sun and it wasn't <laughs> reacting beautifully to having uh, my fingers rubbed against it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go do the rest of my face with the product that I have on my Christmas, then before Christmas project pan, and I'll be right back. 
So my first impression of the foundation is that it actually is matte. Um, is medium to full. I wouldn't say full right away, but it covers amazingly. The pimple that I have here and another one that I have here are really red. And you can see the texture, but you can't see the bright red color that it had. Everything that I put on top of it worked beautifully with the foundation. So I also use the Makeup Forever Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, which is the one that I'm trying to finish. And then I did the rest of my face with products that I'm trying to finish. And everything blended out okay. So far, I get what it says about the finish being matte. It's truly matte. Even before I applied the powder, it was already matte. It also says here that rejuvenates skin. I wouldn't be able to tell you if it does, but I know that my skin looks poreless. But again, it's something that I also get with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, so I wouldn't know. And I look blurred. Mm, I don't know. I look like I'm having a good makeup day. I don't feel like the foundation is lousy right away or that I don't like it right away. I actually like it right away. So I have to just keep using it. It turns out that today um, at 6 p.m., so it will be four hours after I apply my foundation, I'm going to go on a walk with a friend. We're going to start walking every day from Monday to Friday for one hour a day. So maybe I can do a check-in before I go out and then I will do a check-in after I get right back. So the weather here is hot and humid. It's summer all year round and uh, I'm combination to oily, like I said. So I get oily on my T-zone, mostly on my nose. I always tend to get patchy foundation on my nose. It doesn't matter what foundation it is. They do not last on my nose, but it stays beautifully in the rest of my face. So let's just see how this one performs and I will see you with an update later. I'll be filming the outro right now because just the outro, just saying goodbye and everything because I always forget to do that when I'm filming these reviews and then then I don't post them because of that and then I don't refilm them. So I'm gonna just film the outro. So you will see a flawless foundation when I'm doing the outro, but you will see the update in between now and the outro. Hey guys, I'm back and it's right now 8.43. So it's been over six and a half hours and I was out, I was taking pictures. I didn't end up going to the walk that I was gonna go with my friend because she had a family issue, so she couldn't do it. Today's a holiday here, so it's just one of those days that family gets in the way of working out. So we're gonna start tomorrow, but this is how the foundation is looking like. You can see that I have a patch right here in the center of my nose, and this is what I was talking about, that no foundation survives my nose oils, never. It doesn't matter what primer I use. I don't see it gone anywhere else but on my nose and I have marks because I was wearing sunglasses when I was getting uh, pictures taken and I'm oily and I'm a little bit cakey right here. On the rest of my face, everything looks perfect. The blush is still on the highlighter is still on. I don't know what's wrong with my eyes, but I feel that they have been looking red for about three days straight and it's bugging me because they feel maybe as if I was gonna get sick, but I don't feel bad at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to blot with a sponge. And this one has a little bit of powder from when I did this makeup. So I'm gonna just, oh no, I'm gonna blot first and see how it works with blotting. So I have my blotting papers right here. I'm gonna grab one and let's see how it goes. It picks up the foundation for sure. Okay, so I definitely look less oily, but I also removed foundation. So you can see, I know I know some people find this disgusting, but it's a review video, what can I do? But you can also see um, makeup on the sheet. So it definitely removed makeup from my nose, a lot of it, and it looks so disgusting. So I'm gonna show you. Just to finish this video and give you my thoughts on the foundation, I'm gonna show you how I would retouch. 
I'm gonna remove this makeup, of course, because it's already time to chill or edit videos. Edit videos. And I'm gonna grab a cotton round and Bioderma. And I will just remove my nose. When I'm in a pinch and I'm in a hurry and I already have my makeup for over 10 hours and it's looking gross and I'm gonna go to the movies with my husband or we're gonna go out to eat, I never do my entire face again. Foundation is the most important thing for me, but the main thing that gets ruined for me is my nose. So that's the only part that I will do. So I will remove my nose I will not put primer or anything. I will let, <laughs> I look so weird right now. I will let the, the micellar water dry. I will grab a hint of the foundation, just a hint, and I will put it in my nose. Then I will just have my sponge wet and just do my nose. And then I will go in with my powder. I'm using again the Laura Mercier powder, a hint of it. Set my nose. And I will grab whatever is left on my contour brush, which is the Eda brush. And I will contour it and my foundation will look as good as new. I'm oily also right here, so I will blot. But the foundation never moves from my chin, just from my nose. And I will grab a little bit of powder after I blot and set. I can even do the, my entire face with a hint of powder just to make it look fresh. I don't blot on the sides of my face because I never get oily, so I just put a little bit of powder and it will make it better. But you can see right now that my makeup looks as good as new, as if nothing ever happened. And that's less than five minutes, like about two minutes just fixing my nose and I would be good to go. So that's, I never retouch my makeup unless I'm going from one place to the other and I've had my foundation for a long while. But my foundation will usually last me a long time. And these retouch beautifully. And I love the way it lasted on my face. I'm not saying that I'm gonna purchase it because you guys know that I'm not planning on purchasing any foundation in the near future, but it's a good foundation. It, it's still hiding my pores. My pores were showing a little bit more when I was greasy, but as soon as I blotted, I still look um, poreless. And then my nose looks as good as new. I will try it more in the future, and if I have enough data and I end up hating it, I will let you guys know. I'm pretty sure that this foundation works with all the claims. I know that it doesn't hold oils magically, but no foundation does. The one that works the best is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and that one, at some point, about 15 hours in, it will start to let my oil speak through, even sooner. But that one doesn't budge as much when I blot. So that's my holy grail foundation for clients and I use it sometimes on myself when I have an event. But this foundation, it's pretty good so far, pretty good. Six and a half hours is a while when you're out and about because most of the time I'm right here at home. But if I'm gonna go out to do stuff and I'm sweaty and it's so humid out there, then a foundation that holds sort of good, it's a good foundation for sure because it's crazy the weather here. So I'm gonna give this three and a half stars out of five. So that's gonna be my way of telling you how much I liked it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's it you guys, I hope you enjoyed this foundation Friday and let me know in the comments below if you have tried the Transfer Matte Foundation by Natasha Denona. This is the first time I tried another product from Natasha Denona that is not an eyeshadow. Yep. Yeah.
This is the first time and I actually wanted a sample for the glowy one that Samantha Rabanda loves so much but they only had this one. They didn't even have the matte X foundation. So I wanted just to give it a try because sometimes I want to try foundations and you guys know that I'm in a no by year so I don't get to try foundations because I have to finish the ones that I have and that's something that I will keep doing throughout next year as well. So it was good just to try a different one and give you a review of a product that is not old and that you guys are probably still interested in so before you go just leave a emoji with your skin color down below i love to do that because i love to see if my community has different skin colors i'm latin so from wherever you are you can tell me um either your skin color if you want to write it or you don't have a, a emoji and you're in your computer or you can leave just an emoji any emoji that it's a little person with your skin color or a skin color similar to yours. That's it you guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, let me know if you wanna see any other foundations because what I can do is when I go to Sephora, next time that I'm in the US, because here we don't have a Sephora, I will ask for samples and I can review them for you. I'm not a believer in that every channel has to have the latest products on them just to be watched by people. I buy products that are not new releases as well not eyeshadows maybe but foundations i do purchase a foundation if i've heard great reviews about it and i'm ready to purchase a new foundation i will buy a foundation that was released two years ago i don't care i just want to see reviews of foundations to see how they work so if you're interested in other foundations just let me know in the comments below as well and that's it you guys i guess i'll see you on the next one Bye bye